Okay, this video um, is going to be about volume of spheres. Um, hopefully you uh, got a little laugh or like the uh, music leading into the video. We're going to look at the formula for spheres and we're going to do that using two different examples. The formula that we're going to be using to find volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. R stands for radius. So I'm going to label that. The r means radius. In the diagram below, you see a line in the center of the circle or the sphere going out to the edge and it's labeled with an r. So radius only goes halfway and um, through the sphere. It starts in the center and goes to the outside edge. This is the only number that you need. Radius is the only number that's going to ever change in your formula. So the first example, um, here's our sphere. There's a line going from the center to the outside edge. If you can't see this very good and you're in my class taking notes, um, this number is just a 3 and the radius is going to be 3 for this diagram. Then the formula that we're using, make sure you put this down, the formula that we're using is 4 thirds times pi times radius cubed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these numbers and I'm going to put them in my calculator just like they are and then just going to press enter. So putting these in, 4 thirds is a fraction. We need to put fractions in parentheses when we're entering, in our, entering them in our calculator. Times, instead of pi, I'm going to use 3.14 times the radius for this example halfway across the circle was three centimeters so I'm going to put three and then the exponent that I need to use is also three for cubed the final answer after you type that in your calculator the volume of this sphere is 113.04 and then it's measured in centimeters Volume always has an exponent of 3 to represent the cubic units that would fill up the inside of the figure. The last example that we're going to look at in this video starts out telling you the distance all the way across the sphere. All the way across is called diameter. And when we're doing this formula, we don't want diameter because it says to use r cubed. 48 is the diameter, then halfway across would only be 24 for the radius. And starting back over, it's really important that you write these things down, the formula and the order that the numbers go in. So 4 thirds times pi times radius cubed. All of the formula stays the same. The only thing that's going to change is the value of the radius in each diagram. When I type this in my calculator, 4 thirds is a fraction, and please make sure you put that in parentheses because it can change the value of the overall answer. So parentheses, 4 divided by 3 parentheses, times 3.14, I'm going to use that for a pi, times the radius on this example is 24 cubed. The answer to this one is much larger. The volume to this sphere is 57,876.48. And that one does not need to be rounded. It um, ended perfectly. Um, it's measured in centimeters. And again, all volume answers get the exponent of 3 to show how many cubic units fit inside that figure. 